This video is multiplying combinations, and combinations is a skill that we have a lot of difficulty in. So we're going to we're going to go over it. And combinations is finding out how many ways we can put something together, and how many different ways we can, in this case, have lunch. So here we have choices for lunch are pizza, yogurt, and salad. Okay, and our drinks for lunch we could have white milk, chocolate milk, or juice. Now, there's a lot of different ways to find out how many ways, how many different combinations we could have for lunch. Well, I could do it one way. I could draw lines. I could say I could have pizza and white milk for lunch. That's one combination. Okay? I could have pizza and chocolate milk for lunch. That's two combinations. I could have pizza and juice for lunch. That's three combinations. Okay? Well, now let's go to yogurt. What if I have yogurt and white milk? That's another combination. How about yogurt and chocolate milk? That's another combination. Yogurt and juice. That's an, another combination. Do you see how many combinations I'm adding up now? Starting to add up. So let's keep going. Now I've done all of my yogurts. Now I can go to salad. Salad and white milk is a choice. Or salad and chocolate milk or salad and juice. So the question is, how many combinations did we make? Well, 5 plus 4 equals 9. This is one way to solve the problem. Okay? It takes a little bit of work, and a lot of times when you're drawing lines on your paper, it gets confusing. So the easiest way we can do this problem is to multiply. Okay? Easiest way is to say, well, how many, com how many choices do I have for my meal? I have three. How many choices do I have for my juice? Three. Well, if I multiply these three times three, how many combinations can I come up with? Nine. Isn't that the same as what we had over here? Yep. Nine. Okay, so let's try another one. All right, let's say ice cream. I like, let's see, vanilla, chocolate, and let's see, peanut butter. Okay? And then I have a choice of toppings, okay? So those are my three choices for ice cream. And then I get to pick one topping. Let's see, maybe uh, sprinkles, cherry, or maybe whipped cream. Okay? So I'm going to ask again. Oh, and I want to add chocolate in there, chocolate sauce. You can't have ice cream without chocolate sauce, but that's my favorite. Okay? So here I have vanilla, chocolate, and peanut butter. Three different types of ice cream. And then I have my topping choices. I have sprinkles, cherries, chocolate, and whipped cream. So I have four different topping choices. Okay? So now I can either draw my lines, which would take a little while, or I can automatically know, oh, I'm trying to see how many ways I can put my ice cream together. So I say, well, how many types of, ch of ice cream do I have? I have three. All right. How many, how many toppings do I have? Well, I have four. Okay. So now the easiest way to do it is to do three times four equals twelve. So how many different ways could I put my ice cream together? There's 12 different ways that I can put my ice cream together. Okay? A lot of us like to draw, like to draw the lines, and that's fine. But also remember that drawing the lines can get confusing, and we can get lost in where our lines are. So you have to take your time. Good luck on your combinations.